Hi everyone, this is Maria Semple, and uh, today I thought that I would give you a quick preview of Constant Contact's new gen next generation templates. So there's a lot of new things going on, and I thought I would demo for you very quickly sort of the top 10 things that may be different from what you're used to seeing in your Constant Contact accounts if you've had them for a while. And if you're brand new to Constant Contacts, this will be a good opportunity uh, for you to see what's available uh, in the new templates and all the great things that you can do now. Um, I do have a template that I've started that I'm going to demo be demonstrating this from. However, when you log into your account, um, all you'll need to do to access the new templates is to hit the Create button, send an email, and then you'll have an opportunity on the upper right-hand side here where it says View New Templates. So you're going to click that, and that's going to give you access to all the new mobile responsive templates that Constant Contact offers. Now there are definitely mobile uh, friendly and mobile responsive templates in the older platform as well. Attention. So the template that I actually chose that I'm demonstrating from today is this one right here called blank. And it looks kind of boring and bland, but you'll see how quickly and easily you can uh, construct an email even from something like a blank template like this. But um, you can see that they've got lots of great templates for you to choose from. I'm recording this during a fall season, so you'll see you've got some holiday-related and small business Saturday templates. And for nonprofits, you even have some things that you can use around Giving Tuesday as well. So I do want you to be aware that there are just tons to choose from. But let's get back into the template that I already actually kind of half created so that you can see what, um, what I've done and how easily you can add new blocks to this. Now, I had done this, and you saw that I chose that very simple template earlier. And I was able to create this in really just a few minutes. And uh, I went ahead and I inserted images by being able to drag images in. So you can see I can take images and just take this image and drag over and then you can uh, populate it or get rid of it. Um, you'll notice as well, um, actually let's go ahead and add in those images again just to show you how quickly you can do it. So you want to insert image, choose an image from the image gallery and hit insert. And the other thing you want to remember to do with every image that you insert is to link it somewhere because people will be clicking on your images. So I'm going to connect this to the Prospect Finder's website and insert that there. And this particular uh, section that you see here was actually brought in from a blog page of my website. So let me delete that and show you exactly how I went ahead and added that in there. Now you'll notice it brought in a picture, it brought in the title, it brought in the read more link. So if you do have blog articles that you're looking to try and promote, through your email marketing, this is going to be able to um, give you the, you'll just have the opportunity to do it so quickly and effortless, 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 effort, I can't even speak today, effortlessly. Okay, so let's go with the prospectfinder.com. Let me go to the blog page. And we'll go to that particular article. Let me go back to this and let's delete it from here so you can see how I'm adding it in. <clears throat> so if we want to add in a blog, you'll click the More link here and click on the Read More block. And we're going to put that right here. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and edit it. And I'm going to grab the URL for this particular blog page, bring it in here. Oops. Copy and paste in. And insert. And there you go, there you have it again. So you, I didn't really have to type any of this verbiage. It brought in a picture, it brought in the title, it brought the Read More link in. So if you're writing blogs now, this is a great way to get your blog posts out there. Notice I also have something in here about a quick um, event RSVP. So I created that from this RSVP uh, block here. And I dragged that in here, and then once it's here, you can actually edit this. So you can actually ask a, a, a quick question and see if people are going to be able to come to an event that you're having. Now, it's not going to collect data about that person in terms of any um, preferences that they may have, et cetera, et cetera. So it's only going to really give you a, a quick head count, if you will. So if that's all you're looking for for a particular event, this is a great way for you to, um, to set this up. The other thing that people really love is the, the polling feature. So right here is the poll. You'll see it right here on the left. I dragged it in. And then once it's here, you can edit the poll. So I just asked a quick question. Do you prefer morning or afternoon webinars? And this is a, you know, you can add additional answers as well. And it's a great way for you to just collect quick data from your audience as well. Now let me click away from this. I want to show you in the middle of this email, I did drop a, a video, and that was done from this video tab here. So as long as you have as long as you have a video available to you on something like YouTube, for example, you'll bring in the URL, the website for that particular video, and then you can actually go ahead and insert it right into the middle of your emails. Um, if you want to move it around, you know, you can move this around to wherever you want to place this uh, at, in the email, so you can move it to a different spot. You can do a lot of things with this. Don't forget you can customize as well all of the colors, all of the, um, all of the text. None of that has changed. Uh, one of the features that some people really do love is this, um, this divider button. So they, they, bring, they make it very easy for you to just drag in a divider. And then you can actually edit it as well. So if you want to make the divider say oh, a whole different color, you can do that. And you can make it, uh, so you can just see, you can quickly change the color. You can decide if you want to make it uh, w wider, narrower, uh, thicker, thinner. So you can do a lot, even with the dividers. So people really like the ability to have dividers sometimes between um, you know, one or two topics that you might be including in an email. Also, for those of you who have products that you are looking to really um, highlight, notice here all the different layouts that you can easily insert. So uh, let's say you're interested in promoting four different products somewhere in the middle of your email. Notice how this is, uh, is giving you the ability to quickly put those four in there for pictures, product names, pricing, etc. Don't forget to link them to the page on your website where people can buy those products. And then check this out. When you click the preview tab now, this is actually one of my favorite things that they've changed here. You can preview this not only in a desktop version, but just click the mobile version here and you'll see what this is going to look like on your mobile device. Notice those four pictures, those four products, they are stacked one on top of the other. That's part of the whole mobile responsiveness of this template. It's going to stack it for you so you can easily see how it's going to look like desktop and mobile. Of course, you can always send the test email out just like you could before, but they do give you the ability to, uh, to go ahead and just preview it right there 
from within the platform itself. Now don't forget, you want to take advantage of the areas on the top, the header areas of the email. Make sure you've got a nice compelling subject line and don't forget to take advantage of this area known as pre-header text. So this pre-header text is going to appear on somebody's email while it's sitting in their inbox on a mobile device. Typically it's not going to be seen on desktop devices, so it's only going to be seen on mobile. So that's very valuable real estate in somebody's inbox, so take advantage of that as uh, I like to call it some extra real estate really in the inbox. So don't forget to put a compelling uh, pre-header text. So that's a really quick overview of some of the things that I like. I do uh, constant contact boot camps. I do a lot of one-on-one -on -one training and group training, even uh, within uh, nonprofits and uh, small businesses. So if you need to have me in to do some of this training, I'm available for that. Um, and you can always find out where I'm going to be speaking if you go to the uh, um, speaking events page of my website at theprospectfinder.com and you'll understand where I've got some of the upcoming boot camps that'll in a very small group setting um, usually no more than about 10 people uh, we're able to, to do some training one-on-one -on -one, uh, with the group training so hopefully you'll be able to attend some of those so thanks so much for uh, joining me today. I hope this preview has been enough for you to understand what's available in the new Next Generation Editor. And I look forward to connecting with you again very soon. It's Maria Semple from the Prospect Finder.